And oh, welcome to Chair Yoga. I hope you are well as we gear up for Thanksgiving week. Um, just a gentle reminder to please always listen to and respect your body and only move in ways that feel okay or right in your body. Nothing should cause any sharp pain. Um, if that's the case, please stop doing whatever it is you were doing that was causing that pain. Remembering that there's no um, competition in yoga. Um, work within your level of practice and, um, you know, let go of any judgment or expectations and just allow yourself to be fully present and open to receive whatever this class may have to offer you today. So let's take a minute to get centered. So find an easy seated position, check your posture, ankles under the knees, shoulders over the hips, the head balanced, lengthen the spine, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling while allowing the shoulders to just relax down away from the ears, lower your gaze or close your eyes and just take a minute to Welcome yourself to this time that you have prioritized for yourself, for your body, your mind, your spirit. What a gift you've given yourself to be present here today with me, with yourself, with our community. And in the spirit of thanksgiving, I invite you to consider making your intention for your practice today, gratitude. It's amazing how when we take the time to focus on, focus on what we're grateful for, we tend to look for more positive things rather than our tendency that may be to see the negative, the more we consciously focus our intention on those things that we're grateful for, the less we dwell on the negative things. It's also a great antidote for anxiety when I'm feeling especially anxious. If I take a moment to think about something I'm very grateful for, that anxiety subsides. What is gratitude to you? What are you grateful for? It's easy to think of the big things we're grateful for, right? Like having a roof over our head, food, family. Maybe we have a job we're grateful for. But the fun begins when we dig a little bit deeper Maybe we're grateful for the cool, crisp air today. I just took my dog to the groomer and I'm grateful that somebody else has to bathe her and clip her toenails. <laughs> so today I'm actually really grateful for the groomer that takes care of my dog, makes her smell better. <laughs> Take a minute to bring your focus and attention on your breath. Feeling grateful for that life force that flows through us all day, all night, without us ever even thinking about it. But when we do think about it, and be grateful for that breath that sustains us. We can actually shift the energy in our body by focusing on the breath. So let's just take three rounds of long, slow, deep breaths to allow ourselves to further drop into our practice, our body, and go ahead and let your air out. Long, slow inhale through the nose. 
And a long, slow exhale, nose or mouth, your choice. Let all your air out, exhale as long as you can. Followed by another slow inhale. One more slow, deep breath. Good. Let's start moving a little bit. So we're going to bring our elbows in close to our ribs, our hands, palms up at our waist. So it's almost like we're holding a tray of turkey and dressing, maybe, right? So we're going to focus on giving and receiving gratitude. So we're going to extend the arms up so the elbows stay bent. And then the elbows come out and back and down to our starting position. So we're just going to flow like that for a little bit. So inhale and exhale. Feel the shoulder blades um, widening and um, coming together during this move here. So just move at your pace, at your range. Inhale as you rise. Exhale as you lower. We're just loosening up the shoulders. Two more. Come back to rest. And from here, we're just going to inhale and bring the shoulders up by the ears. Maybe you scrunch up all the muscles of the face. And on an exhale, let it all release. Maybe even sigh it out the mouth. A couple more. Just take a minute to notice how just those two flows that we did, how they've impacted your body, your breath. And let's just take a few rounds of cat-cow to loosen up the spine. So on an inhale, we're going to arch the back, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, scoop out the belly, widen the shoulder blades. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat, really focusing on the spine, sending some gratitude to that spine for holding us up day in and day out. This one is great to show a little love to your spine anytime. One more. Good. Let's inhale both arms up by the ears. And on an exhale, we're going to bring the back of that left hand to the outside of our right knee. And then on an inhale, we're going to just lift that right arm up to the sky and take a couple breaths here. Coming into a bit of a twist. Good. Exhale, release the hands back together. Inhale the arms up by the ears. Exhale, back of the right hand comes to the outside of that left knee. Inhale, extend that left arm up to the sky. Gaze can be up towards that left hand, straight ahead or down to the earth, whatever feels best in your neck. Good. On your next exhale, lower the hands to meet. Inhale up to the side and we'll flow a couple times. Exhale. Opening up to the right, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time to each side. Inhale, we open, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale it up. And let's take a side bend over to the right. So this right hand can always come to the seat of the chair if that feels better for you. If you want a little bit more, you can keep the palms together. Good, inhale through center. Exhale, side bend over to the left, keeping the right hip rooted. And we'll find a flow here. So inhale through center. Exhale, arms out wide, palms up. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale it up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale it up. Exhale, arms reach out. Inhale it up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale it up. Exhale, arms out wide. One more time. Inhale it up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale it up. Exhale, arms reach out to the side. Switch the palms to face down. I know the arms are maybe a little bit tired, but let's make some circles backwards. Just small circles. And relax your shoulders. And relax the arms, shake them out a little bit. So we're going to reach behind us and either grab opposite wrists or fingers, or if you can get opposite elbows, go for it. Any way you want to reach the arms, forearms behind the back is perfect. And we're going to take the right ear to the right shoulder, breathing into the left side of the neck. Relax the shoulders. Notice if there's any place you can relax, keeping the spine long and straight, low belly drawn in. Inhale through center, exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Good, inhale back through center, exhale, chin to chest. And lift the chin back up to center. Release the arms and let's take three head rolls in each direction. So nice and slow. Rolling the neck. And circle the other way. We'll meet back in neutral and just take a minute, maybe lower the gaze or close the eyes. Maybe even thinking of something you're grateful for today. And then we're going to bring our arms back to that tray position and we're going to drop the chin slightly. And I invite you to really spread your toes wide on the floor to feel nice and rooted into the ground. And then... Notice your breath. We're just going to flow with the arms here again so the chin can lift a little bit. So we're going to extend the arms out all the way up, palms touch, exhale, hands to heart center, 
Good. Think about grateful for being alive today. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, we lower. Two more. Last one. Good. Go ahead and leave your hands in prayer at your heart center, our center of gratitude. And a little more flow with the arms. So palms up, extend the arms out to the side, all the way up. Palms down, lower the arms. So again, just a nice meditative movement. Inhale as we rise. Exhale as we lower. Couple more. Really reaching through the arms. So this is an active movement, not just a floppy arm type of thing. Good. Go ahead and release. And we're going to come to a forward fold. So options for a forward fold here are forearms on the knees and the head hangs heavy. Or the torso drapes over the thighs and the hands reach towards the floor. So either one of those versions of a forward fold are perfect. And then we're going to flow in and out of a halfway lift. So we're going to bring the hands to the shins, inhale, and extend the spine as long and straight as you can, reaching the crown of the head straight out in front. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. So if the uh, forearms are on the knees, just inhale and extend. Exhale, you round the spine and drop the chin. Two more times. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And just take a minute in your forward fold, letting any negative or unwanted thoughts or energy just flow out the top of your head. If there's a thought that no longer serves you, see if you can just let that go. And replace it with gratitude. Good. If the torso is straight, go ahead and come on up to forearms. We like to come up nice and slow. So then maybe the hands come to the knees and we lift the torso back upright. Hello. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move into warrior two in our chair. So we're going to bring both knees over to the right side of our chair. And the back of the right thigh is flat on the chair. Your left butt cheek is hanging off the chair a little bit. And your options here are to bring that left knee forward. Or you can extend that left leg straight back. But that left foot is parallel to the sidewall. You can also leave a little bend in that knee if that feels better for you. You do what works for you. The hips are squared towards me. And we inhale the arms up by the ears. Up by the shoulders, not the ears. This is warrior two in the chair. And then we're going to find a little flow here. So we're going to come back to our tray arms. This is obviously a theme for today. <laughs> And we're going to find a flow here. So on an inhale, we extend the arms out to the sides, back around to tray. Three more times. Inhale and exhale. So it's almost like we're giving gratitude and receiving gratitude. 
Last one, inhale. And exhale, back to tray arms. Good. Relax the hands. Go ahead and bend that left knee. We'll come back to center and take a little back bend so the hands reach back for the back of your chair and you just let the torso come forward. Shoulder blades are drawn together. And we're bringing as much arch into the back as feels okay in your body today. So the chin lifts slightly. Big open heart full of gratitude. Wide collarbones. And just pull yourself back up. And we'll take that warrior two to the left. So both knees swing around to the left side of the chair. Um, right butt cheeks hanging off a little bit and we either bring that right knee forward and this is our warrior two pose. Or we extend that right leg back. Right leg can be straight or bent. Hips are squared forward. Inhale the arms up, gaze out over those left fingertips. Relax the shoulders down, lengthen the spine, and breathe. Good, then bring the arms to hold your tray of pumpkin pies this time <laughs> and we'll take our flow so inhale extend forward out to the side and back around and two more and last one Uh, come back to holding our pumpkin pies and relax the arms, rebend that right knee. And we'll come back to forward. All right, so we're going to get into the core a little bit here. So we're going to do leg lifts. So we're going to Inhale and lift that right knee and we're going to hold it for two full, slow, deep breaths. And release the right leg. Keep the spine long and straight, low belly drawn in. Inhale the left knee. And breathe. If you need to hold on to the left knee, go for it. Lower. Inhale the right knee. Two breaths. Release. Inhale the left knee. Good. One more to each side. Now we're going to try to lift both knees. So you may want to hold on to the back of your chair a little bit here, but try to keep the spine long. Core is strong and engaged, and we're going to lift both knees and breathe. And release. Let's take a wide leg forward fold. So the legs come out, extend wide. Feet are flexed. If that's not working for you, go ahead and keep the knees bent. You do what works for you. And we're going to come forward any amount. So maybe you hang out with the hands on the thighs or the shins. Don't press on your knees. Or maybe the hands extend down to a block or the earth. Come to your edge, then let the head and neck relax and be heavy. Breathing. Good. Now 
nice and easy. Come on back up. And we're going to stand for a little bit. So let's uh, stand behind, actually facing the seat of our chair. And the option here is to cross the right ankle over the left knee. And then maybe you take your figure four by holding on to the back of the chair. So we're getting into that right hip a little bit. If that doesn't work for you, you can bring the, the right side, the outer edge of your right foot to the chair and let the right knee fall open. And maybe you bend that left knee just a little bit to strengthen it. You do what works, but we're gonna hang out here and breathe. Imagining that right hip just relaxing and opening as we fire up that left leg. Right foot is flexed. Good. Then release the right foot. Straighten up. Shake it out a little bit. And we'll take that figure four on the left side. So either the left ankle crosses over the right knee or the outer edge of the left foot rests on the seat of your chair. Both are perfect. And then play with bending that right knee a little bit. So we're both strengthening and stretching here. Left foot is flexed, holding on for balance. Tons of length in the spine. Breathing. Good. Go ahead and come on up, relax out of it, and we'll do a nice hamstring stretch. So we're going to lift the right leg and set that right heel on the chair. Right foot is flexed, so the toes are drawing back towards the body. You may already be feeling some sensation in the back of your leg here. If that's the case, go ahead and stay right here. If you want more of a hamstring stretch, you can travel the hands to the seat of the chair, the back of the chair, and fold any amount over that right leg. You do what works for you, but try to draw the pinky edge side of that right foot back towards the body. Notice how that intensifies or shifts the stretch in the back of your leg. It takes a while for hamstrings to release, so we're going to stay here for a few more breaths. Maybe calling to mind your intention of gratitude. Maybe we're grateful for our hamstrings that make our legs work right. Grateful for the ability to move our bodies in any way that we can. Good, then we're gonna slowly re-bend that right knee and come on up any way we need to. And just kind of take a minute in mountain pose, which is a standing pose and just notice the difference between the right leg and the left leg after having done that deep hamstring stretch and that the hip openers with our figure four. Now we're going to root down through the right foot and lift the left heel to the seat of our chair. Strong flex of the left foot. Stay right here if that's enough for you or the option to bring the hands to the seat of the chair or to the back of the chair. You do what works, drawing the pinky edge side of that left foot back towards the body, directing the breath and the focus to the back of the left leg, noticing if there's any place you can soften.
Gonna gently re-bend the left knee. Bring yourself back up to stand. And we'll play with tree pose just to work on our balance a little bit today. So let's stand to either side of your chair. My right foot is, or leg is closest to the chair. And I'm gonna root down through the four corners of the right foot. So that's the big toe mound, little toe mound, inner and outer heel. Imagine roots growing down through your floor. Find a little spot to stare at a few feet in front of you on the earth, something that's not moving. And then kick that left knee out to the left so that the left foot is providing uh, like a kickstand for us. So this is a great option to start with. If your balance is not the best, hang out here and play with your balance. Maybe you try to lighten your grip on your chair just to build your balance and strength. Another option is to bring the sole of the left foot to the calf of the right leg. But we wanna keep that left knee out to the side. We don't want it forward out to the side as much as you possibly can. So tree pose is not just a balancing pose, but it's also a hip opener. Option to stay right here. And again, play with light touch, no touch. Maybe the arms feel better out to the side. Full expression of tree pose is bringing that um, sole of the left foot to the right thigh. But keep staring at your little spot on the floor. That's going to help with your balance. And imagine drawing everything into the midline. So no matter where your left foot is, push it into that right leg to draw everything in. That will also help with your balance. Feeling grateful for trees. We can't hug people right now, but we can hug trees. And they hug back. They're living things that we can hug that hopefully won't give us corona. Good. Play with it. Maybe re-grab your chair if you're not already holding on. And then nice and easy, wherever your left foot is, release it. Bring that left knee forward and lower it to the earth. Shake out that right leg, that standing leg. And we'll take that on the other side. So come around to the other side of your chair. Again, rooting down through the four corners of my left foot, but whatever foot is closest to your chair. Root down, find your drishti, which is your little spot to stare at in front of you. Right knee kicks out to the right. Again, you play with your balance. And if you fall over or fall out of tree pose, no worries. Trees fall over all the time in the woods, don't they? No big deal. The difference between trees and us is we can come back into the tree pose. We can stand back up. You take your tree. All trees look different. All trees are beautiful and strong and rooted. You may wobble. Grateful for balance. on your breath, drawing everything to the midline. Left hand comes back to your chair and we release the right foot from wherever it is. Draw that right knee forward and exhale, release. So let's come on back down to seated. 
And let's just take three rounds of a chair sun salutation and then we'll um, take Shavasana or our final resting pose and a little meditation. So find your, I'm going to come to the edge of my seat, check your posture, ankles under knees, long straight spine. And we're going to inhale both arms up by the ears. And on an exhale, we're going to come to your forward fold, whatever that looks like for you. Inhale, halfway lift. We've been here before today. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, that right arm reaches out to the side and up towards the ceiling. Maybe the gaze follows, maybe not. Exhale, right arm releases, other side. Inhale, left arm out and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms wide, flat back, all the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. So that's our sun salutation. We're going to do two more. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, whatever that looks like for you. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right arm out and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, the left arm out and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms wide, flat back all the way up. And hands to heart center. Last one. I'm going to be quiet this time. Great job. All right, so let's settle in for Shavasana, whatever that might look like for you. So it may just be seated on your chair with the spine long and the gaze lowered. You may be lying on the earth. You may be at your desk and you want to rest your forehead on your forearms. You do what works for you. Make any final wiggles or movements and then allow yourself to settle into stillness. Without any effort to change your breath, invite your focus to settle on the flow of your breath. Watching each inhale Feeling each exhale. Maybe even imagining a sense of lightness on the inhale and a sense of rootedness or groundedness. Is groundedness a word? A sense of feeling grounded on your exhale. So a lightness on the inhale and a heaviness on your exhale. And just work to keep the focus on the breath and on those light and heavy feelings. Gently begin to deepen your breath, bringing some small movements to your fingers and to your toes. And then as you're ready, reach the arms up by the ears and the legs out in front. Give yourself a big stretch like you're just waking up in the morning, reaching in both directions. And then relax it all down. If you're on the floor, go ahead and bring yourself up to an easy seated position. 
We'll all press our palms together again in our center of gratitude at our heart. Show some gratitude to yourself for showing up on your chair today. And together we express deep gratitude to these bodies of ours for moving as perfectly as they did. And invite yourself to look for things you're grateful for this week and every week and every day and every year. We're much happier when we appreciate what we have instead of wanting what we think we need. My soul honors your soul. I commend the place in you where the spirit resides. I admire the place in you that is of love, light, truth, and peace because it's also within me. And in sharing these things, we are united. We are one. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.